Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to implement a double jump system into our platform game. Not only that, but you'll be able to turn it into a triple jump, octa jump, or however many jumps you want in the air. Um, it's very very easy to set this up in our platform code, but I think a lot of people have been struggling trying to implement the older methods from some of my much older platform tutorial videos into the new one and are having trouble just kind of trying to mash them into each other because they're, they're not really super compatible but we do everything in the same sort of way so I mean the very first thing we're going to do is just initialize another variable um, we're just going to call it jumps which is going to eventually be what we set our um, the number of jumps that we want in the air to be and in fact what we should probably do here as well is actually set that up and we can set in air jumps equal uh, or actually better name would probably be jumps max to equal 2. So this number here is going to be what uh, the maximum number of jumps that we can have in the air. Um, so, or the maximum number of jumps we can have total, sorry. So we're going to have two jumps, one from the ground and then one in the air, which is going to be our double jump. But uh, the number of uh, jumps is going to be the number of jumps we have available at any given time. So with those two set up, we come into our code, and this is how we had our jumping system set up previously, which was if there is, you know, if there is a wall one pixel below us, so we're standing on the floor, um, and if you know the jump key is being pressed, then set our vertical speed to be negative jump speed so that we fly upwards. You know, really simple. Um, the difference, I think, with the older code, the older code involved uh, grounded variables and things that were set up whenever you were touching the floor, whereas this just directly checks when you're, you're touching the floor and so on. What we're going to do is make it so instead of saying, are you on the floor, okay, therefore you can jump, is say, are you on the floor, okay, then reset the number of times you're allowed to jump, and then for when we actually want to jump, just check how many times, how many jumps we have available. It's really simple. So instead of having this code here, we're going to take this out and we'll put it underneath here. So when we're on the ground, all we're going to do is we're going to set jumps, which is zero, we initialize, to equal jumps max, if that's exactly how. Yeah, that is exactly how I spelled it. <laughs> Good. So jumps to equal jumps max. So whenever we touch the floor, this jumps variable gets set to two. Okay, it starts at zero, but whenever we're touching the floor, it's automatically set to two. And now, instead of having, you know, if our jump key is being pressed, do jump or whatever, what we want to do is say, if the jump key is being pressed, and jumps is greater than zero, we'll wrap that in brackets as well, and open this out into a set of braces, And so obviously we want our jump to happen, and also what we want to do is say jumps minus equal 1. So now if our jumps are above 0, meaning you know we've touched the floor recently or whatever, and we have a jump left, then get rid of one of those jumps and do a jump. And it's really, it is exactly as simple as that. Now if I run the game, I have my jumps max is 2, so whenever I'm touching the floor that variable is set to 2, and then it goes to 1, and then to zero, and then I can't jump anymore. It's it's literally that simple. Um, I can go into create now, and I can change jumps max to be uh, three, and that will give me a triple jump, meaning I can jump, jump again, and triple jump. That's that, and then I'm then I'm down to zero. And you can set that number to anything you like. I could set this to a hundred, and you can just jump all day. Until you know, until that never really runs out, or until I touch the floor, in which case it gets reset all the way back. So yeah, simple as that. That's how you add a double jump into the platform game, or any number of jumps that you like. Uh, I hope that was useful, and I'll catch you get catch you guys next time. <laughs> See you guys.